Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Nine News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a preview after we were able to take one point from the Florida Panthers to now playing the Carolina Hurricanes for a good tradition here in Philadelphia, playing a Black Friday game. The expected goaltenders, obviously, after Jones, he went the last game. It's supposed to be Carter Hart at 5 4 and 3 2 3 9 and a 9 2 8 with one shutout against Frederick Anderson, who has one shutout with a 9 3 6, 190, 11 and 3. And a guy, both of these netminders, uh, would obviously be competing for the Vezina if the season ended today. But Frederick Anderson's been on a completely different level, has been good his entire career while up in Toronto when healthy, but he's been in an entirely different stratosphere um, this year thus far. But some interesting stats to look at um, when it just comes to the Flyers and how off our 5-on-5 play has been. Because you have players like Cam Atkinson, obviously, that I think still in certain games has looked okay. Like last game, for example, got chances just didn't get it on the score sheet. Because he's a guy that needs somebody to set him up. Yandel's been cold, obviously. Yeah, but that makes sense because your 5-on-5 expected goals and your 5-on-5 since the start of the season when you're actually scoring in the first week has been trash. So obviously, if you're not getting goal output... Guys like Yondo, who are more um antici- or who are more obviously first pass guys that then let the other guys go to work and score, um, he's not gonna be able to get assists to accumulate his points if you're not putting the puck in the net where the expected goals percentage for the Flyers, their final th- bottom three in the league, they're at only forty four point eight percent expected goals in five on five. So these are just some stats to say to prove what I've been saying in other videos and everybody knows it just how bad the offense has performed and even though we've played like Jason Martinez pointed out and I agree with them like we looked two years ago at this team not in the short and not in the COVID season last year but two years ago at this team um we could really look at this team that way because that team didn't have defenseman injuries to their key defenseman in Ryan Ellis and also an injury to a key forward um, in, of course, Kevin Hayes. But when it comes to uh, Martinez, he said back in 1920 season at Thanksgiving, the Flyers and Navy's first season in 18 games had a record of 8-6-4 and four and 20 points, 11th in the conference. They had two separate four games losing streaks. And in both, only scored seven goals. They eventually had another four-game skid from December 31st to the January 7th, and then that didn't lose. Then they didn't lose, excuse me, except for when they um, lost in back-to-backs to the Isles um, in the second round of the playoffs. They did not lose in back-to-backs after that. So he's basically just saying, knowing that, or maybe you didn't, because uh, he didn't know. Um, when he looked it up, that the Flyers have actually played, if you look at the percentage-wise, the hardest schedule in the league this far. So he said, knowing that, um, why aren't we reacting to this season? Or why are we reacting to the season much differently than 1920? And he said his answer is because last season happened, which I think is true. If last season wasn't such an off season compared to how 1920 was, I don't think people would be overreacting this early because if you really think about it, we're playing the hardest schedule so far by percentage. Um, the Flyers up at one, and then Ottawa was second, the Islanders a third, Panthers fourth, and Pittsburgh fifth. Um, that's pretty good to be two games above five hundred at eight, six, and four. Um, playing against the fourteen, three, and one, one of the best teams, top cup contenders in the Hurricanes, so it ain't gonna be easy. That's pretty damn good for a Flyers, especially when you particularly have the goal output struggles I just mentioned with the stats we brought up. Uh, it's pretty good to be able to have that when you only score forty four. Um, 0.8% of the time as you're expected on 5 on 5 and your expected goals per 60 is 2.43 where we're at 2.44 so we're pretty much right on the expected right there obviously the offense has to get churning but for a struggling offense that just proves the defense has been improved upon this year and the goaltending is obviously absolutely electric where goals saved above expected the only team above the Philadelphia Flyers is the Calgary Flames at 17.9 the Flyers have a have a whopping positive 17.5 because of the play of Martin Jones. So if he keeps playing like this, obviously is a trade ship if all things worse happen and the Flyers are not where we want them to be. But I think we are going to rebound this season. And Jason Martinez had a great tweet trend 
uh, thread it if you want to go check that out about it, where we should be reacting to this season more like the 1920 season, but we're not because last season was an off season. And in the 1920 season, when we had skids and we were playing like this, we were actually with more strength and not as many key injuries where we have two key injuries to one of our biggest defensemen in Ellis, who especially particularly helps the offense and the struggling power play as well, because obviously it's a double whammy when your 5-on-5 is struggling from the numbers we read so vitally, and your power play is one of the bottom in the league as well, where with the Carolina Hurricanes, it's going to be tough by the numbers in this game for the Flyers, because the Carolina Hurricanes are top 10 power play and top 10 penalty kill where the Flyers or Flyers dropped to 13th now in the penalty kill and are all the way bottom in the league at 26th in the power play and then in goals four we're bottom in the league where the Canes are at 10th and in goals against per game played that's the only thing we're both in the top 10 but the Canes are in the top two so obviously because of goaltending and also better defense this year Flyers have been limiting the output of the other team pretty well compared to last season obviously but they are not putting the puck in the net enough. Maybe this is a game you can get some tired feet of the Carolina Hurricanes and take advantage of that because they're coming all the way over from Seattle where the Flyers, of course, just had to go hum up the East Coast on a much shorter flight, have a day off with their families on Thanksgiving Day, and then regroup so it's a lot easier for them. So we have to take that into account. They're coming from the Kraken um, when it comes to the Carolina Hurricane. So they have to travel all the way across country, coming off of a tough loss to the Seattle Kraken in a 2-1 to one defeat. So that's something we have to take into account. But by the numbers, this is going to be a really tough game of the Flyers. That they're going to have to play very much like they did the Panthers and force them to the outside and limit the shot total more, though. They're going to have to play it more like they did it for the seven-minute stretch of that first period more consistently and not as much like they had that doo-doo part of the second before they got going and then just limited them to the outside, at least, where the offense was just dormant in the second period for the Flyers. You got to play like you did in facets of that Panthers game, not the complete thing, obviously, like after the seven minute stretch of that first period. And the Flyers should be able to, if you can keep this Canes team, you can get them to get their shots, but they're more from the outside and not in high octane areas. We know what Carter Hart's able to do if he has to make a few key saves. You just don't want to be throwing them into the hell ring, basically. Like in some of the game, we had lapsed periods against the Panthers. You don't want to have that, obviously, against a Canes team and go into a shooting match with them either, like they said on the broadcast on the radio and TV. You don't want to go into against the Florida Panthers. This is going to be a tough game for the Flyers, but I think they could be able to win because they can take advantage of tired legs of Carolina because they're coming all the way over from over, all the way across the country did have a break in the day off, but the Flyers are only coming up, had time to regroup with their family, and then are going to get to play today for the Black Friday game, where obviously Carolina has been away from their family for Thanksgiving, and is going to be coming into Philadelphia all the way across country. So everybody have a great day and pleasant day. This has been a preview to the Philadelphia Flyers and Carolina Hurricanes that face off at 3 p.m. today for the Black Friday game. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and go Flyers.